Example 51. In a study, 55% of sampled executives had cheated at golf. The same study revealed that 20% of sampled executives had cheated at golf and lied in business. What is the probability that an executive had lied in business given that they had cheated in golf? Okay, so the probability here problem has some key phrases that indicate this is conditional rule for probability. So it says, what's the probability that an executive, that's just one executive, remember in conditional rule of probability, we should be selecting only one thing, right? That's why we use one fraction to solve the problem. And it says, what is the probability that an executive had lied in business given, right? So given that they had cheated in golf. So that given that phrase or given phrase tells us it's conditional probability. So normally if we have a table, we can use our shortcut formula, but we don't have a table here. So what we mean by that then is we're going to have to use the definition of conditional probability to solve this problem. So let's start by writing out the statement first. We're looking for the probability that an executive lied in business. So let's say lied, right, in business, I'll just abbreviate business, given that given that they had cheated in golf, right? Given that they cheated in golf. Okay, so that's the problem we have to answer, right? The probability that they had lied in business given that they cheated in golf. Okay, so normally if we were doing the shortcut formula, we would just focus all our attention on the last category and we'd go to the column or row on the table that had that you know, condition and then you know, we'd find the number of people who lied in business in that column or row. Um, we don't have a table here though, so we have to follow the definition of conditional probability. And the way that works is we take these two categories and we find their intersection. So it's the probability that they lied, right, in business and cheated in golf, right? So it's kind of like we're asking, you know, uh, what percent or what number did both of these things at the same time, right? They're reported to be engaging in both activities. Okay, so do we have you know, what percent of the group did both things? And then we divide by, so the top part, remember, is the two of these combined in an intersection. In other words, just use the word end between them. And then the bottom is just the second piece here. So this is not a fraction bar, but if it was a fraction bar, that would be your denominator, right? And so that's an easy way to remember that this one goes at the back end or the bottom here. So then cheated in golf, right? because we're assuming that this condition has been met in order to ask this first question, probability they lied in business, given that they cheated in golf. So that becomes sort of your total or your denominator. Now, once you've done that, the hard part is actually done because in this problem, and they don't have a table of data, they usually just give you these two probabilities when you just have to put them in a fraction and finish. So you could kind of guess, since there's only two probabilities, it's going to be 20% over 55%, since obviously the top has to be smaller than the bottom. But let's confirm. It says 55% of sampled executives had cheated at golf, right? So in a study, 55% had cheated at golf. Well, cheated in golf, the probability of that, according to this, is 55%, so 0.55. And then the top part, lied in business and cheated at golf. Well, it says the same study revealed that 20% of sampled executives had cheated at golf and lied in business. So there's our 20%. And so basically, you know, you could say that's the same as 20 over 55. <clears throat> then you can put 5 into 20 four times evenly. You can put 5 into 55 11 times. So your answer is 4 11 Or if you want to divide that out and get the decimal, you can say it is 4 divided by 11. It is 0.364 approximately, 0.364, or about 36.4%. And how would you use this information? Well. Remember what's known in the problem. What's known is the cheated in golf. And what you're asking about is, hey, what's the chance the person will lie in business given that they cheat in golf? So you can imagine a scenario where you're out on the golf course and you watch your um, potential business partner who's playing golf with you that day to discuss business on the golf course. You happen to watch him, uh, you know, the ball goes into the woods and he goes in there and instead of hitting it out and, and counting the stroke, he kind of kicks it with his foot out and he's basically cheating, right? And so you see that and you think, man, this guy's cheating in golf, right? So you know that to be true. Now you start to ask, well, geez, if he's a cheater in golf, what's the chance he's going to cheat or lie in business, right? So what's the chance he'll lie in business? Well, that probability is 36.4%.
And so um, because of that, you know, you might decide, well, hmm, I'm going to uh, make sure the deal is sweet for me if I'm going to take on this risk of doing business with a cheater, right?